What's going on YouTube? This is Crazy Sarah 71 here bringing another video. Today I'm bringing a video on some San Diego Comic Con uh, Power Hour panel um, confirmations that were made regarding Power Rangers. Again, I was hoping to release this last week when when San Diego Comic Con was actually going on, but if Unfortunately, due to the fact that I haven't had a computer for the past almost three weeks, I haven't been able to. So I wanted to give you guys some heads up on things that are planned for the future of uh, Power Rangers for as merchandise goes and other things. For starters, there were some confirmations regarding Enway's Power Rangers Legacy Wars, which is the popular phone game that has existed since about the same time as the movie came out. So yes, that, that game has still kept up. It's going on for almost now, I'd say five months, and I, I've been playing it ever since, and I haven't stopped. Um, and I have most characters, but not all. Uh, as far as things go, they did talk about two characters, which already some have have gotten, some have not. Those two characters are Black Dragon and Lord uh, Dr uh, Dragon uh, from the uh, Boom Studios comic. Uh, I have the assist for Black Dragon, but I do not have either of them as full characters, even though the challenge has ended. But um, unfortunately, they are still premium characters, which means right now, unless you get them through an event or a special offer, there's real no, really no way to actually get them otherwise. And uh, the challenge was hard, so I was not able to get either of them. But, um, as far as other characters planned for the future, movie Putty is planned from the Power Rangers uh, 2017 movie. So yes, they are making a character um, for that, so you can actually use a Putty. Now, does that mean they will be getting the standard regular Putties? Maybe. Again, we still have way too much Mighty Morphin, and there already are plans to, to actually start doing Disney seasons for the, um, for the game, such as Ninja Storm, Dino Thunder, um, News from Dino Thunder, SPD, Mystic Force, uh, Operation Overdrive, Jungle Fury, and RPM. Uh, the other character that was said to be coming soon is Ninjor, which is very cool, and that's a character that I don't care. I would love to get him. Um, so nice to see his character being represented, and technically, like the first, technically real, like, like the, the first actual, uh, you know, alien ranger. Um, Ranger representation, which is cool, and hopefully maybe we'll get Master Vile at some point or something like that. We'll see. There's a lot of characters that they've already done for MMPR that it's sort of like I say that, and at the same time I'm like, please stop with the MMPR, and then I'm like, but there's this character, and that'd be cool because we already got Rito, so it's like, why not get this character? And then I was like, well, now we're adding 50 characters to MMPR, and that's the thing. MMPR had too many characters. Um, so anyway. Uh, obviously, there'll be plenty more characters introduced in the near future as well. But those were the, but at least the movie Putty and Ninja, and then the Black Dragon and Lord Dragon were the four main ones that were talked of. As far as other things go, Imagine X was talked about. They did mention more things that are planned for it, including a Titanus playset, which is cool, which will be able to actually hold the Megazord and will fit it, but but it will be massive, apparently. Oh, because of the fact that the Megazord already is huge, so it's sort of like, how do you do a Megazord that's already gigantic, and then go as, and then take that Megazord and then turn it into a place that the Megazord itself can fit? Think about that. The Titanic, like the Megazord is already a playset, so imagine fitting the Megazord inside of the of a Titanus, which is already gigantic. So basically, you're making something enormous. Uh, and yes, they've already shown off what it kind of looks like, and it looks really cool. They also added a new cinematic for the to, uh, for the trailer for the um, Legacy Wars. I've already mentioned that, but yeah, Imagine X um, movie, uh, Imagine X uh, Le Legacy Titanus looks really, really cool. I'm very excited about that. They are also doing a Thunder Megazord. Um, Imagine X figure, which will be very, very cool, and also a fish, uh, a Perantis head um, figure, which is also neat, and looks like it's going to be a full monster size figure, similar to how Golder was made into a big figure. So that's cool. Um, as far as other things go, they are making a bunch of other things that I'm trying to just double check right now what I'm looking at here. Um, Right, they are doing MMPR bus line, which was something that was kind of hinted at early on during uh, Power Morphicon last year. Um, they are doing bus. These bus will include 
uh, for starters, for MMPR, they're doing a pink ranger bust, a green ranger bust, and a black ranger bust. Uh, as of now, they only have the rougher images with the initial sculpts, which means that they are not, they don't have color yet, but um, I'm sure people will be wanting those. They look really cool. Um, they are also going to be doing a Red Ranger movie bust and a Rita Repulsa bust. And again, that means it's the head all the way down to the uh, the low the uh, waist. So it so it, it doesn't feature the legs, but it features the arms and anything as as low as the waist. So pretty cool, and they look awesome. Um, and I'm sure that they'll do other movie bust uh, line figures, and I'm sure there'll, there'll be other um, MMPR figures released. As far as other things go, they did show off the. Um, the White Ranger one um, one to one bust, which was already released th this past year, uh, which some people did buy. It cost a lot of money, like over a thousand dollars to buy it, but you can buy it during like multiple down payments, and you're not having to like spend you know so much money all in one go. And they're also doing a one to one scale bust of the Red Ranger, so that is very cool as well. So probably at some point we'll get black and yellow and pink and so on and so forth as long as this line does well um there is a green ranger one fourth scale bus that was shown off where it actually has the green ranger holding his uh, holding his power that uh his flute um but like apparently there's there's variant hands where you can have like the sword in the hand or the dagger in your hand and you know all these different looks and you have it riding on top of the dragon zord's tail which is really really cool if you see it just an awesome look to it they also are doing a lord draken bust which looks very neat and that's cool to see because lord draken is very popular and then as far as funko goes there's the San Diego comic con exclusive mighty morphin megazord that was shown off um the mighty morphin dragon shield red ranger and then there were some exclusives, which were the exclusives that were exclusive to the actual convention. I'm saying exclusive a lot, but <laughs> my point. So, and also the Jenny coins are coming. They talked about the Power Sword. I'm just giving you guys some general ideas of what's happening. Red Ranger movie helmets coming, of course. And then they talked about the Legacy Zords that are planned for the future, which are just going to be the, um, like, uh, Legacy Zords that can actually... High, that actually have cockpits for the ra uh, the rangers to pilot so these are going to have like mini figures and i think they're supposed to be like one inch or maybe one and a half inches tall and they can actually fit inside of their zords so they actually have like the red ranger and the yellow ranger shown off in the images which look really cool Ad additionally we got to see some of the legacy figures that they talked about of course we know of the money morphin figures that were released this past spring and then they talked about the full ones which are the legacy zeal figures which will include gold yellow green and then dino thunder red and dino thunder blue and on top of that in the spring uh, and then how that they say that spring of 2018 um, there will be Zeo Blue, Zeo Red, Zeo Pink, Dino Thunder Yellow, and Dino Thunder Black. Then they talked about what summer of 2018 is, which looks really cool, and that includes Dino Thunder White, which is awesome, um, In Space Silver, which is good because now we have all the so because uh, now we have all In Space at that point and all Dino Thunder. Um, and then we'll also have all Zeo and all MMBR. So yeah, all of like four se of like four or five seasons right there. Really cool. Then they talked about the big surprise reveal, which is that additionally with those um, special rangers, they are going to release um, black, blue, and um, red psycho rangers as well as um actually i think it's supposed to be um red black black and pink psycho rangers and then yellow and black and uh and blue i don't forget it's i think it's black and yellow are supposed to be fall 2018 and then there'll be three others and then um red blue and 
pink are supposed to be summer 2018. So yeah, a lot of legacy figures are coming. I especially want those legacy cycle figures because who doesn't love the cycle range? It's so cool. So yeah, that's really neat. Um, they did talk about the sculpting designs for the legacy uh, cycle figures and also apparently um, the Build-A-Figure for the Psycho Rangers is going to be Alpha 5, which is cool. <laughs> I actually like that idea. Again, we've, we have the Megasverse, so why not do um, a mentor-related figure or something like that? I mean, seriously, why not? Um, additionally, they did show up. They, they are doing the Legacy Xeonizer, and they are doing the Legacy Power Staff, which is very cool. So, Zeo stuff is coming. Megazord hasn't really been shown much, other than the Legacy build a figure setup. But the Power Staff looks awesome. Um, people showed off the sounds for it, which they sound so cool. <laughs> um, and we also got to, um, you know, overall, we have to hear all a bunch of different things. And all this stuff is happening in the, like, this year and next year, which is so cool. Again, next year when when Power Morphicon happens, we'll get even more information about what's happening later that year with the Legacy Cycle Rangers and also what's happening the following year um, we're in 2019 and possibly even 2020 a little bit. Don't know anything for a fact, but I would say definitely look forward to hearing more. Again, San Diego Comic-Con was something that people were less than impressed because there wasn't much real hype for it there, especially with Ninja Steel. They didn't show off the trailer there. They didn't really try to advertise any major product. Again, I'm expecting that to more so happen during San Diego Comic-Con next year and also during Power Morphicon next year um, when those two events happen. Uh, especially at Power Morphicon where they really try to hype up things. And also because next year is going to be different with that. And I'll get to that in the next video where I talk about Power Morphicon. But anyway, I wanted to give you guys a heads up on things that are coming out in the near future. If you have any thoughts or, or theories as to what you hope to see in the future, please leave your comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. So until then, guys, I'm Crazy Star Wars 1, and goodbye, guys.